Hi, welcome to King Waters. You've clicked the link to our 2016 Mercedes C350 uh, PHEV estate. So I'm gonna take you for a drive around, show you buttons and functions and features and bits and pieces, just to let you see what it's like. But I love it. It's just, it's a fantastic car. Um, sometimes I honestly feel blessed. The last, like, cars like this, I love cars. I'm a, I'm a genuine dyed in the wall enthusiast. I've made my life in cars and I'm so lucky to have stuff like this and try and present it to people and show them what it is. And I hope my enthusiasm comes across in the videos because it's genuine. But this is something I love. Um, anyway, I'm just going to say, if you like content like this, don't forget to subscribe and uh, we'll put a link in the description whereby if you find it on YouTube or something, you can click it and go directly to the ad. And other than that, I'm just going to put the price here uh, as to what you can finance the car for from True or should you choose to. So here we are out driving the C350 estate. And uh, the first thing you're struck by with all these things always is the silence. This car barely makes a little bit of road noise. You just get a bit of road trundle because as we're driving along, uh, we're doing, we've no engine on whatsoever. We're just all electric motor. So it's, it's one of those real disconcerting things. But the second really striking feature of uh, all these C and E classes is the comfort of the ride. The ride is unbelievably soft and compliant and smooth. And that's because we have adaptive suspension and it's air suspension. So we've various settings for the car, which I'll just run you through now. So it's Eco, Comfort, Sport, Sport Plus. So Eco and Comfort keeps you nice and high up. Press Sport and it drops the car down by about an inch. Press Sport Plus and it drops it ever so slightly more again and uh, stiffens everything up and the car suddenly becomes uh, a very different animal because with the sport mode on you get both motors so you get the engine and the motor working in tandem to create power and that gives you 293 brake horsepower in this little car and uh, over 600 newton meters of torque which is bananas like because that's the real figure now with electric motors and stuff torque is where it's at that's our our, our barometer for performance but that's an obscene amount of torque. Like that's that instant shift in sort of force. And this car has it in absolute spades. Um, I just love them. I think they're just such a great little car. And this particular one does something for me personally. I, I, I'm a, a lifelong sort of car person. So I have three big interests in my world and that's sports, cars and dogs. Um, and this car ticks all the boxes for me because it's in the state. Uh, it can throw all the m messy rugby kit or any of that kind of stuff into the back and the dog, which is lovely, you know. But then the other thing I've always had a soft spot for, for fast estate. And this is a quick estate car, you know. So it, it just kind of ticks all those boxes for me. And the other thing I really like about this is it's under the radar. Nobody's looking at a, a, a C-Class estate thinking it has the kind of performance that this car can offer. It's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's right up my alley. Like, it's right up my alley. Um, Anyway, just onto the, the way they, they uh, the, the way they drive, I suppose, like the torque gives you this instant oomph and push and it makes it everything effortless. But the other thing about it is it, it lends itself to fuel economy because that instantness of the, of the electric motor takes all the strain out of the drivetrain and all the strain out of the elect, out of the petrol side of the thing. So it makes them a, a uh, lazy sort of system so that they don't want a lot of servicing and it's absolutely normal petrol engine servicing when it does get serviced and it makes them super economical and mercedes maintain with these fellas here if you can plug them in at night say if you can plug it in once a day and your trip is 30 kilometers this car will cover it all on pure electric uh, 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 drive but Mercedes give official figures of over 100 mpg for these things on top of all of that performance so it's that really amazing kind of thing that they just tick every single box there is there's no compromise in them the performance is really elastic as well i must point that out this is not some super high performance car jumping at the bit the, the way the motor works it actually makes it a really docile lovely thing and until you select one of the modes it's that car and even when you have it in sport it's perfectly docile don't get me wrong it just has this epic performance that it can offer you so yeah i'm a, I'm a massive fan love it love the way it looks um absolutely love the interior i love the way it all sort of wraps around us uh, we have a nice big infotainment screen there with sat nav but this car has 360 cameras uh, so it's a reverse camera front camera and side cameras which gives us a lovely top down view really cool 
We've adaptive cruise control on this, which is my absolute favorite thing that you can have on a car. I think it's the best invention on cars for years. And this one has lane guidance. So basically you could set this car up to do whatever speed you want to do. Say whatever, 120 kilometers on a trip to Galway and the car will practically A, steer itself through the lanes, but B, it will speed up and slow down for you. And it's really, really on point. If someone pulls in in front of you, the car brakes. It keeps a set distance between the two of you. So just a fine, fine car. Does absolutely everything I need. Loads of little details everywhere. I love details and I love when stuff is real. Like the aluminium here is real. The little uh, heated seat button, that's a real piece of aluminium. So there's just loads of beautiful little, uh, just beautiful little touches about it. But anyway, I'll, uh, I'll stop talking about the car there because you can kind of get lost in them. And I certainly am prone to doing that. So what I'll do is I'll just t move on to us, who we are, if you're coming up to see us, if you're doing any sort of traveling to, to come and see us. Uh, we were one of the very first ever secondhand dealers to be SIMI. And now we're an AA approved dealer on top of that, which to me is the big feather in our cap as it kind of, um, the AA are very brand protective. And the fact that they're, they're you know, they'll work with us is a, is a, a big boon for us, I believe. It kind of shows you, it speaks volumes for us. Um, but yeah, with that in mind, um, I'm just going to leave the video there and I'm going to say thanks for watching it. I hope it, uh, you know, it just showed you the type of people we are and the type of car it is and what it's like in real life and what the niceties over there. Um, but yeah, with that in mind, again, I'm going to say goodbye and hopefully we get to see you soon.